Oh yeah, it's E3 locks here. Uh, you might have seen this lock before, it's a Chubb 3G220. In effect, it's a Chubb 3G114, but it's got vertical levers that basically come down the side here. Uh, the other way of telling them apart is that the curtain is actually notched on the other side. Uh, there's a normal 3G114 curtain, see the notches on that side. But this one, because the spring comes round, the notch will be on the other side, in effect, it'll be like that. Right. Although they're not that common, they're actually quite easy to open if you've got the right kit. Uh, whereas normally you take an impression off the back of the levers for a 3G114, you can't do it on this. But if you've, I mean, I'm going to use the actual Saddam pick to pick it open, but I'm going to use the SV pin and cam to decode it. And the way I've set it up is with the bar going the opposite way to the blade, and I'll show you why I've done that. So first of all, I want to decode the first lever nearest the cap. So I'm going to put a number one pin in the number one position on that. Put that into the lock and then turn it to open. Now if you see there it actually comes to about one o'clock, right, which is no good. Now I'm going to drop the one down to a three. Again. All right, and now you see that it's dropped down to about two o'clock-ish. So I'm going to put a B, I'm not going to do is I'll make the stat and pick up as I go along, so I'm going to put a B in the first hole. Yeah, now go back up to a 1 in the second hole. Too high. So now come down to a 3. Obviously if it's not a 3, then go down to a 6. Right, you see that's come down to two o'clock. So the second one is also going to be a B. Now I'm going to decode the three and five levers. Obviously just by doing the three. It goes back up to a one. Right, and that's gone straight down to two o'clock. So I'm happy that three and five are going to be one, uh, A's, sorry. Which is, just leaves me now is the number four. Nice to go away. There's the number three. Too high. So I know it's got to be a number six, really, but I'll put it in anyway. And let's drop down to the two o'clock position. So I know the number four will be a C. So in effect, I've now finished with the SV pin and cam part of it. Put that in. So I've now got a reading of, if you can see that, B B A C A. Now we're going to try and pick it with this. You see the, you see the bolt here. Yeah. Overlift, no. One, two, three, four, let me stop four, sorry, four, five, four, three. Right, okay, I'm dropping there. I'll go back and overlift again. So I'm dropping down. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. There you go, it's picked. So there you go, it's the uh, it's using both the tools to do it. And if I just open it up, actually, so you can see what I mean by the vertical levers. Ooh. But yeah, these are pretty easy to open, to be honest with you. spring everywhere. There you go, you can see that. Drop the camera down. So 
and there's, there's the vertical leapers on it. So there's a 3G220 defeated by the uh, SV pin and cam to decode the levers, and the Saturn pick to pick it. Cheers.